So normally, I buy my Kerrygold butter from Costco in these big, huge blocks. But the other day, I was in the store and I saw the Kerrygold butter in sticks instead of these big, huge blocks. So I says to myself, I says, self, that might be more convenient to try those sticks. Bad idea. I can eat a stick in a day. And I put my butter on this tray here, which makes it handy to put in here, which I melt and put in some garlic salt to eat this dipped in that. And when I'm doing using that much butter, I'm going through butter too fast for sticks. I need blocks. So note to self, Keep buying the blocks. So people says to me, they says, PJ, how can you eat so much fat? Fat is fattening. And then I'm like, nope, it's not fattening. In fact, it's slimming. It's true. Humans were meant to run on fat, not on sugar and starch. So what does my fridge look like now that I'm fat adapted? Look it up, fat adapted. Less than 1% of us are truly fat adapted and those of us that are stay as lean as we want all the time look at all that fat there's some fat up on in there there's nuts those are high fat there's eggs those are high fat there's the carrot here's my butter that's yeah, really high fat macadamia nuts yeah buddy those are high fat my granola recipe on hardbodcafe.com that's super fat look at all the fitness chocolate <laughs> Oh my gosh, looking at it objectively, that's ridiculous. So that's 70% fat. Guacamole, that's fat. Whipped cream, that's fat. Cheese, that's fat. The strawberry mousse, that's fat. Avocado, that's fat. I got to, oh, trifecta, not necessarily fat, but it's yummy. I add fat. Oh, look at that. <laughs> More nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's fat. Oh gosh, yes. Fat is fantastic. It's not just me that thinks this. My six-member watch board of directors also agrees unanimously that fat is not fattening. 